Hello and welcome everybody to our special Cottage Grove United Church of Christ Christmas program. This year, maybe more than any, we need to remember the true meaning and miracle of Christmas. In and through Jesus Christ, God chose to take on flesh and live among us to show us that we are blessed, that we are loved unconditionally, and that we are never alone. As we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ once again, we remember that this child was sent to bring hope, joy, peace, and love into our lives and world once again. And while we may be more physically separated from one another this Christmas, let us remember that we are never alone, for we are always truly connected through God and through Jesus Christ. May you have a blessed Advent and a very Merry Christmas. And now sit back and enjoy the 2020 Cottage Grove UCC Christmas program. Over 2,000 years ago, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin named Mary, who was pledged to be married to a carpenter named Joseph. Greetings, Mary. You are highly favored, and the Lord is with you. Why, what do you want? Why have you come for me? Please, don't be afraid. You have found favor with God and will seek and give birth to a son, and his name will be Jesus. How is that possible? I am a virgin. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the one to be born will be named the Son of God. I serve the Lord. May his will be done. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save her sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? The child that you delivered. Joseph, Mary's betrothed, found out Mary was pregnant before they came together. Because he loved her, yet believed she had been unfaithful, he decided to divorce her quietly so she would not be in disgrace. But before he could, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph! Joseph, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. Her child was conceived from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. I need to find Mary and make her my wife. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. Everyone was required to go to their hometown to register. So Joseph took Mary, who was great with child, on the hard journey to Bethlehem to register. O little town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie above the deep and dreamless sleep. The silent stars go by Yet in thy dark streets shineth The everlasting light The hopes and fears of all the years Are met in thee tonight When Mary and Joseph arrived, they looked for a place to stay. Shalom. I'm sorry, we have no room. But please, look, my wife is pregnant. We desperately need somewhere to stay, anywhere. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, we're, we're completely full. I, I just can't. Uh, but I, I guess there is a stable out back. Yeah, we'll take it. May God bless you tenfold. All right, come on. The time soon came for the baby to be born. Mary gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger.
I will name him Jesus, just as the angel instructed of me. He is the chosen Messiah, the child of God. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. Shepherds, don't be afraid. I bring you glad tidings of great joy. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born. He's our Messiah and our Lord. He will be, this will be a sign to you. He will be wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. What? The Messiah we have waited for has come? Let's go to Bethlehem and see what the Lord is talking about. So the shepherds hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who lay in the manger. Can we help you? Is this where we can find the new king, the Messiah? Welcome, but how did you know? Angel appeared to us while we were in the field with our flock. It wasn't just the one angel. Suddenly, there was a heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God to the highest and peace to all his people. We are humbled to look upon our Savior. Thank you for coming. May God bless you and be with you.
Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east. They had seen a star rise, one that signaled to them the prophesied king of the Jews had been born. King Herod heard about the wise men, and the baby who was called king of the Jews, and was disturbed. He called the wise men secretly to him. Search diligently for the child, and when you find him, report back to me, so that I too may go and worship him. I will send my servant to accompany you. King Herod had no intention of worshiping the baby. Jealousy and fear lived in his heart, and he planned to kill the child. But the wise men went on their way and followed the star they had seen until it stopped over the place where the child was. We three kings of Orient are Bearing gifts we traverse afar Field and mountain more and mountain following yonder star. When the wise men saw the child with his mother, Mary, and father, Joseph, they bowed down and worshipped him, offering him gifts. Why did you give this poor child such extravagant gifts? He is the King of Kings, the long-awaited Messiah. He deserves all our glory, honor, and praise. We have brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh, gifts befitting a king. Should I play for you?
pum pum rum pum 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 rum pum 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 so to honor him for rum pum 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 when This was the first Christmas when God gave the world the greatest gift of all in Jesus Christ. What gifts can you give to make our world a better place for all this Christmas? Wow.